Hi everyone, it's Katie here on Scrap For Your Life YouTube channel. Today I have a project share with you for a swap I've been and it was for Tiffany um, Crafting Like a Boss McGill on her, she has a Facebook swap going um, but she posted on YouTube and so I asked her if I could be in it because I'm not on Facebook so she said yes so I'm going to share the project with you. Um, let me explain what the swap was for. It's one rosette with a center embellishment and then a word or a sentence on it and an altered clothespin and you could do just one if you have a lot of embellishing on it or you had to make, if it was simple, you had to make um, two or more and then a paper clip banner with a couple of layers of embellishing and then um, my choice of embellishment um, to alter some item and so those were the four embellishments we had to make so I'm going to start with my um, rosette all the all the paper that I used on I kind of made them all match um, using the heartfelt creations blushing rose collection and so I used a little bit of the paper on each thing and so I made the rosette and I used um, a doily punch on the edges of my rosette and then under um, then I stickled the edges um, with stardust stickles and then I added the tool it's a lavender tool under here and then I punched out a flower punch and stickled the edges and put that on top of it and then under here is um, three silk flowers roses and then I added the word believe and stickled around there and this is uh, Martha Stewart um, butterfly that I got from Tuesday morning a while back and I also stickled the edges on there and then the back I just punched one of those flower punches out and just put it on the back so that center would be covered up and then on my paper clip banner the paper I used that paper from the collection and then I took um, a silver uh, paper clip and then I just painted it with purple paint and did the stardust um, stickles over top of that and I took a there's still paper underneath this lace that I pulled over like a banner and then I covered it with this lace and made like a little flag on top of it and then I stickled the lace and put this little embellishment flower um, gem there it's a lavender and then I added the word um, it says wonder um, all the words are different on everyone's um, each one has a different word and then I stickled the paper for the banner and then right here I have a um, gold metal charm and this one too and I just added a lavender gem to the top of each one of those and then in the center I added a punched um, it's like a little punch and it punches out the butterfly and I stickled the butterfly and then added it on there and then just the three um, rose silk roses and I stickled those also okay and then my paper clip I put the heartfelt creations paper on it and stickled that but first I painted the clothespin um, a lavender color and then I stickled the sides and then I added the paper and then I put the tool under here and added another one of those Martha Stewart butterflies and stickled the edges and then added um, this gem I got from Scrapbook Expo on the top and the bottom okay and then for my choice of the altered item I chose to do these um, two wooden books I got these probably 25 years ago at a floral supply store near me and I've been carrying it around forever so um, I just painted these uh, white and then I painted the edges um, with lavender 
uh, paint, Martha Stewart Pearl Lavender paint. And then I took the Stardust uh, stickles and I added it onto the center of the book. And then after that I put um, the the paper from the Heartfelt Creations on it and stickled that up on the front and the back. And then I just added a piece of um, cardstock, lavender cardstock, and heavily stickled the edges. And then on this lace butterfly, I took Mod Podge and I used a brush and I painted the, the butterfly with Mod Podge. So it would be um, kind of stiffer, so I could bend it the way I wanted to. And I let it dry and kind of took a pin and um, a clip and holded it, uh, like closed a little bit from the back like this, so it would dry a little bit like that. It still kind of lays down, um, like if it's in the package, it'll be laying down so you can pull it back up. And then I put some tool on top of there. Well, first I stickled this uh, butterfly, and then I took the tool under there and glued it, and then put the gem on top. And I got that gem at Scrapbook Expo. And then I added this little um, hook. I forgot what you call it, but it's like a hook that you screw down into there. And um, and then I added a bow, a little lavender organza bow to it. And I made a tassel to hook onto that. And it's just got some gems and some organza and some silk um, ribbon, white silk ribbon. And I connected it with the chain and put it on the ring. And I made a little, the little book connected to, these come off, they have the, um, the claw or the clasp that you can take off if you want to take it off and put it on something else separately. And it has the same tassel on it and it has the little um, metal gold butterfly with the gem. And I did the same process with the paper and the stickles. So that's that and I'll show you each one of them packaged up. Okay, I packaged the um, paper, the clothespin and the paper clip banner together in the same package. I just took a piece of the same paper and folded it, scored it at an inch and another inch, and then folded it over so it had this little lip so the paper clip could, or the clothespin could grab a hold of it and then I just stuck the paper clip onto the back of that one and then on the same paper collection in the back and then I put um, two, punched two holes and ran the ribbon through and then tied the little ring onto it so it would hang separately and then I just put this one in a package by itself. I'm going to be including some goodies, um, some of the little paper collection, like the tags and little things I stickled up so they can go with the set. They can do whatever they want with it. And then some more of those butterflies from Martha Stewart and some little heart eyelets and a couple of those gold butterflies that were on the set. And just this um, butterfly gem. I got this at Scrapbook Expo too. And the whole package is going to go in this pocket I made. And let me make sure it's okay. It's kind of glittery, going all crazy. But I put, I had this paper um, or the sticker collection probably got this from QVC 20 years ago too. I've been hauling it around and um, they're see-through stickers and so I put one on the cover. I don't know if I can, yeah you can see it and a little tiny flower on there and how I made these pouches was this is a wine bag from the Dollar Tree 
and it was, you know, let me see if I can get this. It was the whole thing was connected like that. And I cut it about an inch above the bottom where the flap is right here on the bottom. And I just cut it straight across. And then you can use this for something else later. Um, it just opens up like a little bag. So I plan to use that for something. And then, so on the top here, I just undid the string on the bag and pull it out. And then this little hook that it came with, I just cut it straight across. I don't like to take them off and try to peel them off because there's still a sticky thing there. So if I just cut it right across, the sticky thing doesn't get on anything. And so what I did was I have the bag here and then you just open it up and you find the side creases and you crease it really good down the edges and open up the other side and crease that really good. And then you have like your little pouch and what I do is take, I took the dry clear glue and I just glued across the bottom about a fourth of an inch up a good stream of glue and then just lightly press and and press it down with your fingers so that lots of glue doesn't come out the bottom but what I did was I took a piece of paper and put it underneath and I started way down low on the bottom of the paper and if I pushed it and some glue came out I just kept pushing it up and sealing it a little bit pushing it up don't get nothing on your fingers because if you get it it'll get on the glue will get on here and smear it so you got to be careful with that and but if you just keep lightly doing it and pushing it up eventually no glue is coming out the bottom so um, after that you can just pick it up and go across it a lot until it's completely sealed it only takes a couple of minutes and it's really sealed and then you've got your little pouch and it's sealed on the bottom completely and then what I'll do is take this string and I'll go right back through the holes when I feel it and then I'll just um, tie it get through that hole <laughs> okay and then I'll I'll probably add my well actually I need to put it in the other hole there's four holes across once you do that but I'm ignoring the other two on the end so I can get it through. I'm gonna have to put it through one at a time and then stick it through the other one so after you fill it you just pull those through and I did this on another swap um, for a Christmas tag swap and I used a rose gold wine bag and um, you can see that one on um, Scrapping for My Boys. On Mo It's for Monica. Um, and it was around Christmas time. I think it was December or November swap. And then I just tie that in a bow. But what I'll probably be doing is adding my tags, that my swap information, or I'll write it on this little um, tag right here after I'm done. So... That's what I wanted to share with you guys today, and I hope you liked it, and if you do, give me a thumbs up, and comment, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel, and I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.